So a couple of days ago, I did a video on all the new features of iPadOS 16 on the M1 iPad Pro. And while those tablets get all of the fancy new updates, including Stage Manager, the same is not true for non-M1 devices like my beloved iPad mini right here. And judging by the comments under that video, people are pissed. So I went ahead and installed the developer beta of iPadOS 16 on my favorite iPad here to see what this does for the mini. Let's ramble. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So if you've been to the channel before, you know I love my iPad Pro. In fact, it was the iPad Pro that started this channel back in 2020. Well, that and lockdowns. Anyway, it's been my weapon of choice for a long time. I've upgraded to the specced out 2021 M1 version, which is of course the top of the line device in Apple's current lineup. However, I was completely taken by surprise when Apple dropped the iPad mini last year during their September event. And I thought, all right, let's review it and then maybe sell it again afterwards. Well, that didn't happen because I absolutely fell in love with this little guy. It is the tablet I pick up the most on a daily basis. There are days that I use this thing more than my iPhone. It is by far my favorite iPad today, which is also the reason why I didn't until now install the developer beta on there. Beta software is buggy as hell and I didn't want to mess up my user experience. But after so many of you got frustrated with some of the features missing on the non M1 devices, I decided to download and install the developer beta after all, see how it looks and feels and what the user experience is like and share my thoughts with you guys. So first off, the huge pink elephant in the room, Stage Manager. iPad OS 16 on the iPad mini doesn't have it. Now, if you're interested in learning more about why Stage Manager is not available on non-M1 devices, I encourage you to watch this video by Rene Ritchie. There is no way I can explain it better than he does, and whether we buy it or not, it is by far the best explanation out there. Anyway, iPadOS 16, of course, is not Stage Manager. There's a lot more to it, so let's have a look at all the updates we get on the iPad mini, and then I'd love to hear from you guys what your thoughts are on it whether it's worth it or whether it's just another lackluster update. Starting off with what is, in my opinion, the least significant, most overhyped update of all, and that is the weather app. The iPad mini now has a weather app. Granted, it looks nice and all the widgets are expandable with tons of information on said weather, but why Apple still hasn't included a stock calculator app is literally beyond me. But hey, at least we can get real fancy about the weather, right? Having said that, not all features are pointless, and one of the most powerful ones, in my opinion, is visual lookup. We already had live text, arguably one of the best features of iPadOS 15, which lets you select text from images and use it as you like. Apple has now expanded on that, and it's now even possible to select text straight out of a video. Another feature that is pretty mind-blowing is that you can now lift subjects out of any image, and you can drop that lifted image straight into any app that allows file import. Absolutely amazing and very useful if you collab a lot. Speaking of collabs, the new collaboration feature is also available on the iPad mini. For better or worse, we have all become semi-experts in online collaboration over the past two years. The new collaboration feature in iPadOS 16 makes that process quicker and easier. Instead of hitting share, giving permissions, and all the other steps, you can now simply add people from within apps like Pages. All I have to do to start collaborating is hit the little person icon in the top right corner, and it will ask you how you want to send your invitation. So for instance, if I hit messages, I can just shoot a quick note to my buddy Alex from Alex Gear and Tech, and on his end, he will only need to accept, and bam, we are collaborating in our sheet. It kind of reminds me of a streamlined, better version of Google Docs, whereby you can see what your collaborators are doing in real time. You can even do this from within FaceTime, which makes collaborating even more in person. I can't wait for the new Freeform app to be launched later this year, which should give us the ultimate collaboration experience, great for brainstorms and idea generation. Apple talked about desktop class apps, meaning app behaviors that are similar to the user experience on macOS. Some features work across the system, and some are specific to certain apps. Like when you create a meeting and calendar and invite someone, you can now check their availability and a screen will appear showing times you're both available. Another useful feature, in my opinion, is the ability to edit and undo messages within 15 minutes from sending them in the Messages app. We all say stuff we don't mean in the heat of the moment sometimes, and if we're lucky, we cool down within 15 minutes 
giving us the opportunity to delete our hot-headed messages and save ourselves the cost of a bouquet of flowers. Dictation has gotten an overhaul too. You can now dictate and type at the same time, and that is quite useful. Dictation is never really perfect, and it's a pain in the butt having to switch between voice and keyboard every time you need to make a little tweak. Now, the keyboard stays available as you dictate, making it super easy to make quick edits to your dictations. Arguably the biggest overhaul has taken place within the Files app. And this is one that daily iPad users like you and me have been asking for for a long time. First of all, the layout is a lot more mature now. We have list view and within that view, we get pretty much all the information we need and didn't have available before, like file sizes and file extensions. It's kind of ridiculous to get excited over something so basic, but you don't know how valuable it is until you don't have it. Well, now we can not only see the file extensions, we can even adjust them. So for instance, if I wanna change this file right here into an MP4, I can do that now. You can sort your files the same way you would on your Mac, and now we have a feature called View Options, which lets you do more sorting and which has a toggle option for your file extensions. We also have folder menus now, which give you options like compress, tags, and favorites. We can open folders in a new window. And my favorite feature, Get Info, which tells you everything there is to know about this folder, including its total size. You can select multiple files like you would on a Mac by dragging over them. And of course, we can transfer files from one window to another, and whilst that's not new, we can now see exactly how long it's gonna take us. We got a little wheel in iPadOS 15, but now we can actually get a proper progress bar, full Mac style. All of these changes and a couple that I didn't mention today make the Files app infinitely more user-friendly. I can now use this app on a daily basis without wanting to pull my hair up or what's left of it anyway. And that to me is a big plus in iPadOS 16. One thing that I didn't mind so much not having on the iPad Pro, but that I actually miss on the iPad mini is the ability to customize the home and lock screen like you can on iOS 16 on the iPhone. I'm thoroughly enjoying the look and feel of that. And it would have been great to have that feature on the iPad mini as well. All in all, I do believe it is a shame that we don't get some of the M1 features on the non-M1 devices. I personally don't multitask all that much on the iPad mini small screen, so I won't really miss stage manager in that sense, but precisely because the mini is so small, I would have loved to be able to hook it up to an external monitor and get full screen support. So what do you guys think? Is iPad OS 16 worth it, or is it just another incremental upgrade? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it one of these. It really does make a difference. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.